In this video, we are going to see how we can use the flow repeater component that is the new feature provided by Salesforce in a real time use case. So, in this use case, uh, I have case and issue objects. So, case uh, can have multiple issues associated with it, that is a one to many relationship. And uh, so, we are going to see how users can create multiple issues to a case. Let me quickly show you how this uh, case object looks like in my Salesforce application. So I'm in one of the case record. And uh, so if you see here on the related list view, I can create new issues and I can create multiple issues for the same case. So we are going to create a flow that is going to allow our users to create multiple issues and that is going to be uh, attached to this case itself so that's our use case let me go to a uh, flows page here and uh, i'm going to create a new flow for this requirement that is going to be a screen flow selecting the screen flow and creating it and at first we need to add a screen element and give a label something like that and we need to add a flow repeater component so repeater beta component here and we need to add the fields that we want our users to enter at the time of issue creation so I want uh, a description, start date, and the type to be entered. So for the description, I'm going to select long text area and dragging inside the repeater component here. And I want a date field. So dragging this date field inside the repeater. And I want a pick list value. All right, so I have added all uh, these three things inside the repeater. So we need to configure everything now. So for the pick list, I'm going to create a new choice resource and selecting pick list choice set. Give a name. Uh, select your object issue and a data type whether it's a multi select pick list or pick list for me it's a pick list and type this issue type and i'm going to name the same it's a label right i'm going to say issue type and here it's going to be issue start date and in the long text area, it's going to be issue description. That is it. And if you want to make anything required as required field, then you can add it here. But for now, I'm not going to add anything. And I think that's all for the repeater component. Okay, let me give a name. Component and done. Okay, we have created a screen here. The next step is going to be like uh, we need to add a loop here. We are using a loop because so if at all users enter like uh, multiple issues, right? In the repeater, they can add multiple issues, right? So whenever they are adding it, we are going to use the loop component and uh, going to assign everything into a uh, variable then uh, have everything into a collection then going to create it so that's what we are going to do here so created a loop and uh, i'm going to select this repeater component and all items in case if they are entering multiple items right okay so this all items will be there and inside the loop i'm going to use assignment give it a name and uh, so here 
I'm I need a resource. I need a variable that is a record variable to hold all the values from the loop from the screen component. I'm going to create a new variable and it's going to be issue record and I'm going to select record and my object is going to be issue so it's not needed for input or output so that's it so I have created this variable and I'm going to assign uh, the things the users entered right uh, in the screen to this variable like so issue record dot description going to be loop description so it just pass this value to this uh, variable here likewise we are going to have the start date from the loop loop start date and then issue type loop type so from the loop we are just passing the values here so the next thing is going to be uh, we need to map the case record as well right so they are uh, going to create these uh, issues against any of the case so we have to have that value so that uh, it will be displayed in the related list so for that say select issue record case and uh, i'm gonna create a new variable that's going to be record id and the data type is going to be text and default value is going to be a current record and it's going to be available uh, i'm going to select available for input as well so i'll tell you why i choose this option later so i map the case uh, id to a, a case field on the issue object and final thing is going to be like i am going to create a, a collection variable so this we need this collection variable to store all the values that are uh, passed from the loop and from the screen elements right so that's why we need this collection uh, choose variable issue collection and select as a record as a data type and select your object and choose this option allow multiple va uh, values that is a collection so i have added this and uh, select add here in your operator and choose your variable so what i'm doing is um, all the values that are from the loop it's stored in this record variable and uh, at the end i'm just adding that record variable to the collection so the next record um, the next value will come and it will go to go through this iteration and all those values uh, will be added to the collection so the last step would be creation of this records from the collection so let's say create issues and here i'm going to select multiple because we are going to create multiple issues and uh, selecting the collection so here this is the place we have all the values uh, stored. So let's save it. So repeater example, something like that. Save it and activate it. So I'm going back to my case record and editing the lightning page here. I'm going to add my uh, flow that we have created now, right? So, to a case record page, select flow, drag and drop like this here. Choose your flow and see. Um, 
after I selected this flow, uh, it ask, asks me this record ID, pass the record ID to this flow so that uh, I can store it. So I'm gonna select this pass record ID to this variable. So now the current record ID is getting passed to, uh, to this rec uh, variable so that the case ID mapping will be done uh, in the assignment. I'm gonna save it. All right, go back. So we should be seeing the flow uh, in our case. Yep, we have seen this. So let's test it. Test one, start date, today, issue type, something. And this add will create same set of screen uh, field elements and you can add test to start date yesterday and select something and i'm gonna add again test three sorry test three different date different error so everything is entered i'm gonna click next so my assumption is all three issues are created for this case let's go so if you see here everything is here like test one test two test three yeah. for our requirements especially when the user are doing a lot of manual efforts to create multiple uh, records against any of the object you know uh, you can use this and uh, it, it's going to be a game changer for um, the customer care service users and uh, so it's going to make their life easy so yep let me know your comments and uh, let's see what different areas that you are using this component and again this is a beta component and uh, it's not a generally available thing but within the next release they will be doing at a, uh, this as a ga so it will be available let me know your thoughts and uh, i'll see you all in our next video thank you